Hi, it's David from Life with Parkinson's. I'm back here today with Jennifer from the Parkinson's Wiggles Project and Jeremy McDonald to give you a comparison of how many productive hours each of us has in a day. Now, when I'm thinking about productive hours, I mean like time where we're totally on, where we can sing, dance, do the hokey pokey, vacuum the house, do the dishes, shovel the snow or anything else we want to do without any problem at all. Now that's quite a bit different from just hours in a day, but for me, the hours come kind of in like ways, peaks and valleys. There'll be times where I'm like totally on and I can do anything I want, or times where I'm just kind of a little, a little bit off like this, where I can still do stuff, but it's very difficult. You know, I can think enough to film a video, but would I be able to think enough to do like a major financial transaction? Probably not. On time kind of comes for me from like, say 8 to 10, then from like 11 till 1, then probably from like 2 till 6.30, and then maybe a little bit in the evening. I'd say a maximum of 8 hours on like a really, really good day where everything's going my way. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, there's butterflies and flowers, and but you know, those productive hours can get hacked away pretty quickly by the anxiety. If I'm having anxiety, the on time just completely disappears. Another interesting thing about productive time is that there's no way to increase it anymore. You can't take a Red Bull and just expect, oh, I'm going to have an on time because the Red Bull will actually do the exact opposite effect to me. It'll like ground me totally, flatten me on a bed. And the other day I had too much sugar. It had been a long time since I had any sweets, so of course cookie dough was on sale at Superstore, so I bought some and ate a bunch and I'm like, oh my god, why did I do that? The only way I can actually increase my productive time or maintain my productive time is to have a nap. And if I haven't had a nap, I can't go to the gym because I won't be able to deal with the amount of noise and people that are there. The white noise just gets to be too much and I can't deal with it. So now that I've gone through all the stuff, I'd say, yeah, anywhere from six to eight hours, but that can vary. It could be as little as four, depending on anxiety and other issues. So I just want to thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button so I can spread to more people. We're hoping to do more collaboration projects in the future. Everyone's information to their channel can be found in the description below. I hope we can take this journey together. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Goodbye. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another collaboration video with myself, Jennifer Sullivan, Jeremy McDonald, and David Gebhardt of Life with Parkinson's. What I love doing about uh, these, why I love doing these videos with Jeremy and David is because we each bring our own Parkinson's journey to the table. And I think for viewers, it's a great way just to kind of see the similarities, the differences, and um, yeah, just kind of get a different perspective from each person, you know, who has uh, Parkinson's because the each experience, it's like while we're connected, can be quite different. And now I'm gonna focus a little bit more because like when I hear productivity, I, I just can't disassociate it from capitalism. I think about work and professional issues and my career. And so um, I'm not doing the same career, I'm not in the same profession that I was in when I was diagnosed. I'm, I'm also though, you know, there's like a conscious decision that I have made. So after, you know, I closed down my restaurant, I've done business consult, small business consulting for small businesses. And then when the pandemic hit, um, you know, I was, it was great because I was able to do, you know, that from home. I was already doing it from home, but that gives me the flexibility that I need in case I have an off moment or if I get a little bit disconnected and can't really type because I'm just like, ah, oh. um, you know, I can take a, I can take a break. But you know, when I think about like my day-to-day -day activity, I mean, I'm really active. My mom is just astounded at just how she, I'm always going somewhere, I'm always doing something. I, I mean, I do all the grocery shopping, I cook every single night, like tonight I got a roast chicken, it's my favorite recipe from Zuni Cafe, wonderful cookbook, if uh, people are into cookbooks. But God, this chicken's so good, but I love to cook, so every night I cook, and you know, sometimes I might move a little bit slow, but then my meds kick in, and then I just keep on cooking. And, you know, I have to say that um, I'm, I'm, again, every day I'm so thankful that, you know, I'm still on the move and that I can still go. So, yeah, no two days are the same for me. So I'd say like on, you know, like the best days, like I'm highly functional. Maybe I'd experience a total of like an hour of off time. And then my worst case days uh, would be like maybe two to three hours 
of off time. And then even on those horrible days, I mean, I could still go to the grocery store. I could still cook dinner. I can still go and hike with my dog. I can still go and do those things. So if you're not subscribed to our channels already, please do hit the subscribe button and give the videos a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, my name is Jeremy McDonald, one of your three favorite persons with Parkinson's. That's right. Another collaboration video with David from Life with Parkinson's and Jennifer from the Parkinson's Wiggles Project. I think this was David's idea, the collaboration. And then for this subject, I think he came up with the idea too. He's like, how many productive hours do you have in a day? Which is really a tricky question for me to answer because of the side effects of my medicine. On my channel, I've done videos about how difficult it is for me to walk. My friend Catherine has compared me to, ba to a baby giraffe learning to walk, which is probably pretty accurate if you've ever seen me walk when I'm on my medicine. It's called dyskinesia. It, it makes your it's involuntary movements or uncontrollable movements. For instance, this morning, I got up, did the dishes, went for about a mile walk, and then went down and grilled some chicken kebabs. Can't wait for those later. It's be really good. All while I was off. I didn't take my medicine until about an hour ago. So I would say that the three hours, the three or four hours before I took my medicine are going to be my most productive of the day. Now, after I take my pill, I mean, I'm better at doing videos and being more alert and maybe, maybe making phone calls and stuff like that. Driving, things like that. But for the most part, I have to accomplish most of my jobs when I'm off, which is really strange. So I would say... Four hours functional in the morning, functional productive, I mean, is probably a better way to put it, not functional, but productive, and then maybe all combined, maybe an hour in the evening, so I'm thinking maybe five hours in a day, but it's a struggle, man, it's not easy, it is not easy, and this god-awful disease, if there's one good thing about it, it's the people that I met, the people like David and Jennifer, which I can call or email or message, share my struggles, and they'll, they'll, come right back at me with either encouragement or maybe there's a struggle of their own. So I love collaborating with these guys. Check them out. I'll put the links in the description of the video. Can't wait to see you on the flip side. Peace and love from St. Louis.